Welcome back to another episode of Daily Fortnite, your daily podcast about Fortnite. I'm your host, Mikey, a.k.a. Mike Daddy, a.k.a. Magnificent Mikey. And today, the boss obsidian outfit, it's actually in the item shop. Yes, they uh, reposted uh, just a plain picture of boss obsidian uh, today and... Uh, He's actually in the item shop today. So, or this character is actually in the item shop today. So, uh, we'll take a look at it when we get over to uh, the item shop. I wanted to mention a, a comment on YouTube that was like, when I read it, I was like, oh yeah, that's obvious. It makes sense. I assumed that they were making this change or they did the change for fncs but like flip 9k said on youtube the change for the cactus was for and fncs so teams don't base up and abuse it and of course the those three days that it was gone fncs was going on over the weekend so it makes sense that that's when they decided to make that change um, because I was looking at it like, oh, that's such a short amount of time to change. I wonder what they're doing or testing. Well, of course, it was made and it was done just because FNCS was going on that weekend and they didn't want people to, um, you know, have an infinite respawn of health. Uh, which, again, you know, that does make sense. And you would think that... Um, You know that it was something maybe they <laughs> could have tested earlier in the season um but again like i said i i i, I don't think um we really know you know how much thought goes into these uh things i put in and then once it gets actually put in the game we find as a player base, we find ways to uh, exploit it, or it goes a lot differently than it did in their small testing group, you know? So, uh, you know, temporary, it was temporary, temporarily gone. It's back now. If you play right now, those cactus will respawn. So, um, yeah, it's back. <laughs> uh, other than that, I don't have any other news today. So we'll take a look at what people are playing, okay? Uh, you know, Battle Royale, 152,000. Zero Build, 188,000. Reload, 144,000. Reload, Zero Build, 50,000. I was playing earlier this afternoon, and, you know, Battle Royale, Zero Build, and Reload all had over 200,000. Um, Reload, Zero Build was still... Like under a hundred thousand when I was looking at it. So there's something really about um because I love reload, but there's something about the reload zero build that just isn't connecting as much with the player base. And I find that very interesting because um obviously as you can see, zero build has now like regular battle royale zero build. Most of the time it is, you know, and for quite some time it has surpassed build battle royale you know so um makes you wonder why reload zero build isn't higher just continues to um be something that fascinates me uh let's see here what were my kids playing horror panic hospital haunted house 2 interesting tag chapter 2 um water park tycoon 3100 Lucky Block Bed Wars has 1,700. Skylands Tycoon, 2,100. And there's a whole lot more to be discovered in the Discover tab. Uh, let's head on over to Quests. Um, we got the uh, Curse Sales. That's all still available. How, how far are we? Now, we're up to code 6 has been released. Okay, so I'm still behind on these. I'm only on uh, unlocked up to pirate code 
three so far but to be honest with you i wasn't even looking when i was playing because I, I earlier i played with a couple of my sons um and one of their friends and when i was playing i was not looking at these at all and i was still getting them done so they're pretty much straightforward right uh summer road trip still there your your dailies of course do those every day all sweat summer your stories um plenty uh is there part five um is available now so um you know if, if you've been following the story that'll be something interesting for you to do now that we're near the end i gotta start doing these myself and figure out what the background story is going on uh this season uh weeklies nothing new yet but uh just you know keep up to date on those and uh yeah just do everything you can to uh, level up before the end of the season here in a few weeks Let's head on over to the item shop and see what's in the item shop today. Okay, so uh, all of our special and our special offers and bundles are here. Uh, the Lego items, Metallica items, uh, our jam tracks, Gear for Festival, the Wastelander Level Up Quest Pack, FNCS bundles. Summer Road Trip, Avatar, Stranger Things, Pirates of the Caribbean, that's all still here. The Deadpool and Wolverine items are still here. Uh, Futurama uh, has made a return, so all the Futurama items are here. Uh, again, I'm not going to go over each one, um, but just know that the Futurama items is here. They are here. Uh, the Academy Champions are still here. Uh, Shimmy Wiggle Doggo still here. Okay. We got the Stormlight Bundle. Okay, this has Nightbeam Outfit, Lumicore Red Back Bling, Flare Outfit, Lumicore Green Back Bling, uh, Splinter Light Pick, or er, yeah, Splinter Light Pickaxe and Vivid Axe Pickaxe. Uh, the Mega Bat Glider as well for 2,800. That's 2,300 off the total. Scarlet Serpent is here. That's got the Scarlet Serpent outfit. The Double Fang Back Bling. Fearless Fangs Pickaxe. And Sky Serpent Glider for a total of 1,800. That is 700 off the total. Uh, and then we got our new outfit, the Boss, Ops Boss Obsidian outfit so boss obsidian uh, the horned menace of the ashen peak okay and it's got a lego style as well so this guy uh, has on uh, black armor and it's got all this like red engraving on it looks pretty cool again the only problem with this one for me is that helmet that thing is huge and wide. That's going to be in the way. It's only 800 V-Bucks though. Reaver's Revenge Pickaxe is 800. Uh, and it's forged from the ashes of the Conquest. Also part of that Red Reaver set in the Red Runes wrap. Um, again, it has that color scheme that the Boss Obsidian has where it's black and red. And... Um, shine goes through the uh markings on it which is cool that's 500 v bucks you can get that all in the bundle the red reaver bundle for 1400 which is 700 off the total and that looks like everything today you can get any and all of these items using code mikey m m m i k i e in the item shop and some of the proceeds will go to help support the show now here's the thing it's an alright looking outfit, right? But I can't make it my item of the day because honestly, I, you know, I could not regularly use that outfit because of the shape and size of that helmet. So that is not going to be our item of the day today. 
The item of the day today is an outfit that I like a lot, and that is the Scarlet Serpent Bundle. All right, so that's your item of the day. Of course, you can always get the individual items if you want, but I really like this one. I like the original look with the black and red color scheme. Then I like the white and gold color scheme version of this as well. Just a really good outfit. Uh, I like the pickaxe. I like the back bling that comes with as well. The glider is, oh, you know, just okay, but... Um, you know, I really love the rest of this stuff. So uh, there you go. That's your item of the day. And that's going to be the episode for today. So make sure you go join the Daily Fortnite Discord and hang out with us. Follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. Head over to Apple Podcasts. Leave a five-star rating and a written review for a shout-out on the show. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss an episode. And until next time, have fun, be safe, and don't get lost in the storm. <laughs>